In this video, we're going to find the area given in this picture. So this is the graph of x plus sine x, and we're restricting the domain from zero to pi. So we're looking for this area here. So this area here is given by the definite integral from zero to pi. So basically all we have to do is integrate this, so x plus sine x, and then we have dx, and we have to go from zero to pi. We're, you, we're integrating with respect to x, so we have to use x's for our limits of integration. All right, so all we have to do now is integrate this. So to integrate x, uh, we use the power rule. There's a one here, so this is simply x squared, because you add one, and then divide by two. So one plus one is two, then you divide by that. To integrate sine, that's gonna be negative cosine. So the reason I know that is because if you take the derivative of cosine, you get negative sine. But there's already a negative here, so it'll make it positive. Okay, so the derivative of this is negative sine, but negative and negative is positive. So when you integrate sine, you do get uh, a negative cosine. And then I'll just put a line here, and we're going from zero to pi. All right, so first we plug in the pi. So this is equal to pi squared, whoops, whoops, pi squared over two, minus, and then plug in the pi, cosine of pi. So you always plug in the pi uh, first, and then minus, and now you plug in the zero. So parentheses, plugging in zero, we get zero squared over two. I'll even write it, why not? Minus cosine of zero. So this is cosine of zero. So boom, there we are. All right, so you have pi squared over two, pi squared over two. Cosine of pi is negative one, so this is, oh, minus, my, I'll, I'll write it, minus negative one. This is gone, okay, this is zero, so this is minus, this is, this is negative, this is one. Cosine of zero is one, so this is minus that, because this becomes one. So this is equal to, let's see, pi squared over two, and then one plus one, plus one plus one, because these will be, both become pluses. So we end up with pi squared over two, Plus two. So this is this is the area. So this area here, this area is given by pi squared over two plus two. Kind of cool. Kind of a cool uh, answer, right? We got some some pies in the mix. So whenever you have to find an area of a function that's above the x-axis, all you do is you integrate uh, from left to right. So you take your function and you just integrate from here to here. The reason is, if you remember, in the construction of the Riemann integral. What you do, this is actually equal to a limit, you approximate this with, with rectangles, and then you take the limit of, of the sum of infinitely many rectangles, and that gives you the area. That's what this is. This is actually equal to the limit of the sum of finitely many rectangles. So this is actually equal to a sum of infinitely many rectangles, and that covers this area, and that gives you the area. So I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.